So today we are going to permanently unlock this Airtel MiFi. Uh, as you know, guys, I've made a couple of videos about this MiFi, and uh, in my previous video, I showed you how to like temporarily unlock this MiFi. But after a recent update from Airtel, uh, the trick could no longer work. I re I realized that after like waking up in the morning when my fire is showing red and uh, going on to its admin panel it was saying that update successfully so after that update i think airtel patched that uh, that error and uh, we couldn't uh, temporarily unlock this my fire so what i think airtel did is it patched that uh, that software uh, bug and uh, i think that's why the trick is not like no longer working so that so we have to go on and uh, unlock the my file permanently as you as you're seeing on my on my uh on, on your screen as you're seeing on your screen the myth is is in red so what we're going to do is we're going to permanently unlock it and you you'll be able to insert any sim card of your choice and go on and use the my file so Let's go to my PC and I show you how to unlock this my file. Alright guys, we are here. I'm on my PC. So I'm going to be doing this trick uh, using Windows Windows 11. But you can go on and use Windows 10, Windows 7. By the way, it is more simpler using Windows 7 because uh, Windows 10 and 11, you will need to do a couple of things before you install the drivers uh on your pc but on windows 7 it is more simpler because it does not have any limitations on installing drivers from uh untrusted sources but windows 10 and 11 you first disable driver enforcement uh on your pc before you install the drivers so let me first show you how to disable driver enforcement on your pc and even after disabling that, let's start with this. Go to your PC, go to Windows Security or Defender. So click on Device Security. Go to, if you're on, this, this, this works on Windows 11, but uh, I think it is same, it is the same on Windows 10. Go to Core Isolation. Then disable these settings. Disable Memory Integrity and also disable Microsoft Vulnerable Driver Brokerist. If you don't disable these, you will not be able to install the drivers on your PC. So, disable these settings and go to the next step. So after that, we're going to disable the driver enforcement on Windows 11, but it's the same on Windows 10. So what you're going to do, let me first close this. What you're going to do is you're going to restart your PC while holding the shift button on your keyboard. So let me first show you how to do this. All right, so guys, uh, I'm filming this using my camera. So this is what I've been telling you. So just restart your PC while holding the shift button, okay? Before you click restart, make sure you're holding the shift button. So it's what I'm doing right now, okay? So when it's restarting, hold down, hold down, don't release. Don't release. Mine is restarting. Okay, mine is restarting. So don't release, don't release. Hold down, hold down. Okay, it's back up. Okay, now you can release until you see please wait. So on the next screen, we are going to see how to disable the driver enforcement. Okay, so here, click on troubleshoot, 
okay click on troubleshoot or you can use arrows to navigate when you click on troubleshoot go to advanced settings okay go to advanced settings go to startup settings so basically i'm using my arrow to navigate these options so click on startup settings so here they are telling us let's start to change windows options such as disabled driver signature enforcement so this is the option we are looking for so we are going to click on restart okay click on restart so the computer is restarting so when it restarts we will choose that option to disable the driver enforcement so here we are here we are so the option we're looking for is it's number seven so what you do just click number seven okay just click number seven and then your computer uh, will restart so mine is restarting that means i have disabled uh, the driver signature enforcement so my computer is back up so if you've done that let's go on and continue okay so guys another issue which you may face uh i faced this that's why i've brought this up so after doing all of the procedures when i came and ran the setup okay as an administrator uh i noticed i was getting errors okay let me try to run it again so yeah this is what i wanted to show you i noticed this error this program cannot be run under hyper v so uh, after searching on the internet i resolved it by going to where you search from search for windows windows features okay so click on it click on it and the list will come up so you scroll down and you need to disable virtual machine platform this one so what you do just click on it and disable it if it is ticked just untick it and click ok ok so you'll notice it will say searching for required files okay it is applying changes so after that you will need to restart your pc to disable virtual machine platform for windows okay so i face that i don't know whether guys you face it also but uh if you face it that's how you will solve the problem so go on and restart your pc and continue with the procedures all right guys so this is the driver i've been telling you about after click on on action update no it's not not that sorry about that let me first deselect this okay so when you click on action and you scan for hardware changes and you don't see this demo mobile mobile brand band so go in the all right zip file continue. downloaded after extracting go search from on the task you bar there run uh, this I'm setup sure I'm, I'm okay sure my so you run this uh, setup go ahead there is, as go an administrator go there is such so when you run it while well, the MIFI is plugged in manager uh, okay, this, this one is the one drivers will for. come the there are two options but me uh, are you seeing okay, one so because i already installed these drivers uh, but what you do there are two options my file if it's if, not there let me try to upload this one and you see browse so what when you browse you just click on the folder and you tick this box include subfolders okay when you click okay 
don't forget to, to tick this so what you do click next so when you when you try the first option and you see this go on and select and try on the second option the second option is also demo mobile bronze band so but for me you're seeing one option because i already installed these drivers hope you're getting what i'm saying so after updating you will notice you will see this port 80 interface com3 that means you have successfully uh updated the drivers and they are installed correctly so after installing the drivers correctly we are going to open our setup that one you see mf 97 what what so open it as an administrator okay so when you open up in the folder there is a text file which includes the passwords the key open it so now we're going to copy our name copy the name paste it in the name field okay now we're going to copy the key copy the key paste it in the key field click register okay so now we're going to copy the execution password so you copy it okay paste it in the password field click ok so now this will open up and give it like three seconds the update file the update button will be clickable okay so now click update you need to wait like five minutes for the update to take place okay so you need to be patient okay so and by the way guys before you click update don't forget to remove the sim card in the my file okay don't forget to remove the sim card just take a note, note of that i had forgotten that okay so as we wait for the update just be patient until the update completes successfully all right you're even noticing that the my is restarting several times as the update is going on okay so just keep on waiting keep on waiting as the update is taking place i'm sorry this video is long but because i want you to get guys to like do this thing on by yourself successfully if you face issues don't forget to comment down below and uh, i'll be able to help you out if you're facing any challenges all right so after that you just go to this pc by the way and uh, as the update is taking place just go to this pc or my computer and you're going to open the cd drive and double click on it okay double click on it as the update is going on you will notice the new admin panel will load in your browser okay as you see there guys it's just the wifi as you see guys the update has completed successfully you will notice i've just installed a new mtn uh, line and that it has read successfully without like sim card is locked so that means we have successfully unlocked our myfi so just go on and do it by yourself you face if you face any issues comment down below i'll be able to help you out so as you see guys we have unlocked our myfi so thank you for watching this video guys comment down below if you have successfully unlocked yours and uh, i'll see you in the next one bye